Welcome back, everybody, to the Vintage Beef Fan Server. You know who I am. I don't need to introduce myself, I hope. But, yeah, we're back. And today, probably going to be a little bit boring. We're going to go do some caving stuff. We haven't done caving in a while. I know what you're saying, but caving is boring. Oh, I'm going to fall. But you're going to say, well, caving is boring and blah, 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 blah. Well... I've already found something interesting, and that's not the cave we're going to go into, but there's a cave down here. Is this something I've explored? Or... Huh. Does this go down very far? No, it's a shallow cave. Okay. It's just a shallow one. Alright, so that's probably why I didn't explore it. It's pretty shallow, pretty, pretty shallow. And then this just that ends right here, yep. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't, but no, we're not going in this cave right now. Keep an eye on, oh, I should mention, uh, if you noticed, we're in the snapshot. <laughs> uh, so yeah, a few things have changed and I'm not gonna go over all those things because this is not a snapshot episode today, but I'm gonna get those coordinates, okay. So I have an idea at least where this is in the future. I can get back here without getting myself killed. So that, this little this little bad boy right up here, obviously is my treehouse. Looks really nice from far away. I like how it looks, especially the I think the glass does add something to the color a little bit. I was a little little uncertain about the light blue glass at first, but I think now I like it. I think it's. I think it kind of completes the whole, the whole look. But no, we're gonna head over here because. While well, I was exploring yesterday, I found a partially explored cave, and there were interesting things at the bottom of it. And I thought, well, why not do it on camera? You don't have anything else to do, anyways. You're not gonna be running around building anything right now. I'm kind of in a, a building lull here on the, the BBFS. Doesn't mean I'm not going to build anything else ever again, but it means that I just don't have any giant projects right now until I can think of something I want to do. So that's why we're doing what we're doing. Also, if you notice, I have full diamond armor. My, my chest plate finally broke. You know, my boots are almost broken. So I figured now it's just a good time to go. Let's go full diamond. Why not? But what do we have to discuss? We have a topic for discussion. Yes. Yes. And I could I could talk about one of two things. And I'm trying to figure out which one in my head I want to talk about right now. Um, you know what? I know what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about the first thing that was going to come to mind, but it was actually something that was kind of brought up in discussion based on a, a tweet, and for those of you that apparently don't know, and I didn't really notice either, um, my friend, uh, Lady M, who is the person who runs the Empire server that I am whitelisted on. Uh, she just here's the interesting thing I was gonna point out. Got a spawner, is that a zombie spawner? And a chest, I think it's been explored. Ooh, I'll take all that. Thank you. It's a snowball. What's the snowball doing in there? Uh, but mark that. That's taken care of. But uh, she had posted a tweet. Um, I think yesterday or today at this point, probably today, but she posted a tweet saying that, hey, you know, I just got back from the doctor from my, my, I think it was her biannual checkup, and the doctor says I checked out, and it was a, it was a biannual cancer checkup, and I didn't know that she was, she has, at one point, had been a cancer patient, so that's interesting to me, she's all fine, she's doing well. And the reason that it kind of, kind of touched a, uh, a spot in my heart, and I, 
I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before or not. I feel like I have, but at the same time, I don't know if I have it. Because I know I would have remembered it. Oh, and by the way, the mob AI is much improved now, so now they do all kinds of crazy things. And it's kind of scary. But... I, I tweeted this back at her. My mom is also a cancer survivor. Has been for... Oh, hey, so Eric's on. Hey. As you can probably tell, I tried to sleep in the bed repeatedly as the sun was going down before I started this episode. Uh, but my mother, and insert your mom jokes here, but my mom is actually a, a breast cancer survivor, has been for 14 years. So it's very cool. And kind of got me thinking about something that I was actually going to perhaps talk about in a future episode, which is, uh, oh, I was quick, <laughs> Zen and gone, but, uh, yeah, which is health related stuff and not so much about, you know, healthcare and, you know, insurance and all that stuff. Not that's not so much of that, but more like just being healthy and taking care of yourself. And I know that as gamers sometimes we get stereotyped as being, you know, for lack of a term, fat. And we get stereotyped as being fat, overweight nerds who you know, eat nothing but Fritos all day and drink drink Mountain Dew. For some people, that's true. Some people do eat a lot of Fritos. But I I used to be one of those people, and I, I think I have mentioned this, that I have had weight problems in the past. I have a, I have a problem. I have a history of dealing with damn it stupid stupid thing I have a history of dealing with uh, being uh, being overweight and it's not so much that I was like morbidly obese or anything like that I was I think I've mentioned this before but when I was in college I was the kind of person who did not take care of myself very well. I did a very poor job of taking care of myself and making sure that when I was sick that I wasn't exerting myself too much or you know, that I was maintaining a healthy weight for someone of my size. I'm a fairly short person uh, compared to most people I know. So, you know, I... I did not do a very good job of that, and I was, I was young, I was stupid, you know, all those things. I was a former high school athlete who had, what's that, it's like, is that another, uh, another spawn over there? Huh. I was a former two-sport high school athlete, I ran track and played soccer, and a little bit of lag there, huh. Oh, it must be a... Must be some kind of lava source that was there. Got blocked up. But, yeah, I was a... I was just kind of a... You know, your average kid who did a lot of things. Was very active. And then suddenly when he went to college, he became not so active. And I spent a lot of time sitting around on my butt. And developed some, some weight issues as a result of that. And I've always, I've always since then, and I've always since, especially since my, since I've had some other family members who've had health issues, who've, you know, I've had, I've had aunts who've gotten terminal cancer. I've had uh, at least one grandparent who was suffering from dementia and lost kind of her memory and basically just shut down because. Uh, she also lost her eyesight. That was also something that was worth uh, worth mentioning in this discussion, at least for for my story. But she lost her eyesight, and that kind of led to basically 
her shutting down because she couldn't do the things that she liked to do anymore. And just having gone through that, having seen relatives who went through that kind of stuff, it kind of helped keep that, that thought in the forefront of my mind that, especially when I was when I was trying to lose weight, when I got to that point where I was almost obese, um, that you know I needed to take good care of myself and I needed to do all the things that a person who takes care of himself should do and make sure I was is eating right and not drinking too much junk soda and eating too much junk food uh, and all that stuff and it's kind of one of those things that I still think about a lot and I still I perhaps even maybe too much care about my my weight and consider myself to be you know still overweight even though I've lost 30 pounds when I was actually almost obese and most people will say that oh you're not overweight you know you're you're within you're within the, the range of weights that makes you you know that is appropriate for someone of your of your body type and size and I would agree but you know it's still hard to have to put that in the back of my mind and not think about it because of the fact that you know I've I like so many people have all these health issues that my my family's had and sometimes every once in a while I think you know what if this happens to me and I don't think about it in the in the sense that oh my god it's going to happen to me but kind of that curious you know what if it happens to me what if I woke up one morning and I was very sick with something or I I couldn't see anymore I lost my hearing or things of that nature how would it affect me would I you know what would it do and it kind of is something that I know I can't do much about because a lot of the stuff that would potentially you know get me would be genetic and that's really scary when that's you know that's really scary to think about that you can just wake up one day and your your body could just basically say nope I'm not gonna let you see anymore you're gonna have to be blind for the rest of your life or be like uh, nope you are going to have an abnormal heartbeat for the rest of your life and you won't be able to do things like like run very far or whatnot unless you get this expensive surgery that you can't afford uh, so yeah it, it does it I do kind of think about that and it's kind of a it's kind of a scary thought at times to think that you know I can just one day be doing my thing and having a good time and then the next day everything's completely different and there's nothing I can do about it and especially the, the eyesight thing that's you know I wear glasses already but I already had when I was a little bit younger I already had a scare where my doctors said that my the pressures in my eyes were kind of a little weird and they wanted to have tests done on me and make sure that I wasn't developing you know cataracts or something like that. I, I'm I'm 15 years old and they're doing this to me. You know, they're telling me this when I'm like 15, 16 years old that you know you're you just want to take a look at your eyes and make sure that your your pressures are okay and you're not starting to already develop cataracts at 15. And that's that's scary. That is that is ridiculously scary. I'll tell you that much. That's probably I think the most terrified I've ever been with a health-related issue. Uh, not the most miserable I've ever felt. That would be the time I got mono in college. Oh my god, that was horrible. But as far as the most terrified for my future, you know, that was kind of probably the, the most scared I've, I've ever been. I was going through that, that long wait for them just to tell me that yeah, you're you're okay, you know. You're fine. Don't worry about it too much, you know. It's nothing. I guess it is nothing abnormal, but that that whole process kind of makes you think. It makes you stop and think a lot about you know what you what you're doing. Are you actually enjoying what you what you do in your life? And thankfully, the answer is yes. Both with my job professionally. 
and my YouTube hobbies, and my gaming hobbies, and the writing stuff I do. I I do enjoy all of that, and I'm lucky that I get to. I get to. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, go away! Go away! I'm lucky that I get to do this stuff and have people watch and care. Yeah, I'm always thankful for that. That's one of those situations where, <laughs> when I say you know I'm thankful for things, that's actually part of the reason why because I do. I do have these thoughts sometimes about that, and it's it's something that makes me realize that hey, I am a, I'm a lucky fellow. I get to do this stuff, and there's people out there who can't for one reason or another, and it's nothing that they can't because they don't have a computer. It's they can't do. You can't really do a let's play if you're blind. That's very. I mean, there's someone will prove me wrong. There's there's a blind let's player out there somewhere, or a blind speedrunner. <laughs> Or, excuse me, somebody who just manages to know the button combinations that he needs to do, he or she, let's not be uh, stereotyping all gamers here, but, you know, someone who knows what they need to do and they just do it and they're they're very good at it probably, but I thought I saw diamonds down here. Could be mistaken, what is our level? We are at 25, we're not... Really, at the depth that we need for diamonds, we might have to go into the ravine to find them. I'm also running out of torches. Boop, boop, boop. But yeah, it's uh, that that whole that whole tweet just really kind of set off some some thoughts in my head, and maybe maybe you know think about. How lucky I am just to be in the situation I am that, you know, oh, is that a little bit of lag? Oh my goodness, what the heck was that? Was that the, something was updating, it must have been, and it just lagged mercilessly really bad there. But, uh, oh wow, there's a whole cave system down here. Ooh, things, shinies, shinies, ah, shinies. Uh, but it makes me, it makes me kind of grateful. Oh yes, lots of shinies, lots of shinies. Shinies that nobody's found. My shinies. Um, yeah, it makes you really, really kind of grateful for having these things and having health. And I think it is something that people take a lot for granted. Uh, you know, just being able to, to wake up in the morning and be healthy and not have to worry about, you know, having a bunch of medications that you have to take every day, or having to deal with, you know, hooray, I got that achievement finally, I found some raw diamonds. Thanks. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, when you, when you know, love, love the ones who've been through We've been through hell because, you know, our bodies have just kind of wanted to give up on them. Um, or have had some kind of medical condition, like, you know, like, like a cancer or, you know, some kind of, ow, some kind of, uh, like, a, an, like an autoimmune kind of thing. I know, I think I've known somebody who's had one of those, Delios. Or they've had other various issues, be they small, be they big or small. Because I don't want to make it seem like, you know, even small issues can sometimes be an impairment to being able to do do things that you want to do, do things that that you love. Or they can force you to change, you know, your life around having, you know, you have some kind of. For example, if you have some kind of disease, like uh, or something you, where you have like a cystic fibrosis, um, that can that doesn't necessarily keep you from being able to do those things that you want to do. I know I know some people who do have cystic fibrosis and deal with it, uh, or like MS or something like that. It doesn't necessarily mean that you can't be a YouTuber and a gamer and do all these fun things, but it changes. It changes the way that you can do them sometimes. Um, 
And you know, I think about that. Oh my goodness, another another one of these. Oh, that's not good. That just sounds bad. But you know, I'm kind of I'm kind of cognizant about the fact that. Oh, oh shit! You can come up here. That's right. You can go up here. Up, get out. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Down, boy. Down. 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 But I'm kind of. Oh, ow! Shoot. That little bugger. Shut up. Go away. Go away. Ow, 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 ow. But yeah, I've, I kind of. At least in the. Oh my goodness, gapples. I've never seen those in the chest. But I do kind of, in the back of my mind at least. Oh, what the hell? Jeez, that scared me. Yeah, you know, I do kind of in the back of my mind at least, uh... What's the word I want to say? I said cognizant before, I don't know if that's the right word. But I'm a- yeah, I'm kind of aware of... of all these things, and I- I think about them sometimes, and... I kind of reflect upon life, and... What's what kind of life that you know I have or that I want to lead and it's very interesting, it's very interesting to think about those things. It's a lot of uh give you a lot of perspective sometimes when a loved one gets sick and you're not and you just kind of want to for lack of a better term, you just kind of want to do what, uh... If you've ever seen the Green Mile... Uh, Michael uh, Duncan Clark's character... He calls it, uh, he, he says, um... What is it? It's, I think it's a Tom Hanks character asks him what he, d you know, what he does after he heals this guy and there's this, you know... It's this stuff that all comes out of them, and it's like this weird black stuff that comes out of them, and he's kind of like, well, what the heck did you just do? He said, I, I took it back. And I kind of always have thought that, you know, sometimes I feel like that when I know somebody who's, who suddenly becomes ill, very, very, very ill, you know, I kind of get that feeling like, I wish I could just, whatever's ailing you, I wish I could just take it take it back and take it away and not have to have you deal with that. And, you know, it, it happens to the best of people, too. Like, you know, you might know some some person who's done nothing wrong in their entire life and they get struck down with, you know, pancreatic cancer or something aggressive like that. And you're just like, what the he what the hell? What the hell is going on? Why is why is this person who's done nothing wrong in their entire life who's been nothing but a you know a great person to be around? And I'm not saying I'm not saying this because I have some kind of example of it happening. I'm just saying in general, you know, a lot of people go through these thoughts and they think of you know a lot of other people have been probably in that that kind of situation, and you know it does feel. A little, a little sad, perhaps, and a little. Some people might even say a little hopeless. But I, d I definitely know that I'm really thankful for having my health, and I really want to do everything that I can for as long as I'm around to make sure that because I'm healthy, because I'm able to to do these things, that. A, I'm taking care of myself. I think that's a that's a big thing first and foremost. That you know, since, since I'm healthy, I want to take care of myself and make sure that I stay healthy. And B, I really want to be able to kind of, if I can't take it back, you know, if I can't take it back, then I at least want to be able to pay it forward. And I want to be able to donate to these causes to do, do things like, you know, not just donate to Zelda Thon. And you know, how about the people in Saint, uh, you know, the Saint Jude people, especially? That's a great example. You know, a lot of those kids—they're very young kids. It's not like you know these kids have been, you know, 
chain smokers for 40 years and get lung cancer or something like that as a result. You know, a lot of these kids are very young and it's just, it's just genetics or something cruel like that that just kind of says, okay, you're sick now, you know, and what the, uh, what the people at St. Jude do is absolutely amazing. And what's really cool, what's really cool about that is the guy who founded St. Jude is from the Toledo area. So that's that's my local connection is that it was founded by a uh, guy, what's his name? He's an entertainer. It's Danny something, I can't remember. But he was uh, he was originally he t uh, from Northwest Ohio, which is where I live right now. And he set this up to make sure that, you know, kids that were sick didn't have to and their families especially didn't have to suffer through you know having to pay all these bills and being so much in debt and they could just enjoy enjoy being together and enjoy life and all that good stuff so uh, you know I'm I'm 100% behind those things and I want to do I want to do more of those kind of things in 2014 when I get back into doing streaming uh I want to do charity streams. I want to do charity streams. I want to not only do charity streams on my own, but I want to take part in these these group charity streams if I can, if I can somehow finagle my way into doing it. I want to take part in these these group events and help people out and kind of pay things forward and make sure that you know people who are in need of help, in need of care in need of taking you know in need of maybe just just getting a little something to help them out um can do that and i want to do more than i know child's play is the most popular one and i've kind of i've kind of said my piece on this before but i want to do more than child's play i want to do more than just video games because games are great games are awesome and they're great for kids to have but my thought on Child's Play right now is there's enough people doing that that as much as I would like to... Oh no, Eric. Oh no. <laughs> but like, as I've said this before too. As much as I would love to just do Child's Play um, as much as I would love to, to help out with that because it's a good cause there's enough people doing it that I think there are other other causes, like for example, St. Jude, which by the way, they are doing a, they're starting up a gaming thing as well, so they're doing a Child's Play-like thing too, which is great, um, but there's so many other people out there that could use, could use the money and the attention just as much as, as Child's Play gets, and I feel like, I feel like that would be really where my services would be would be best utilized is to do to do different streams to do to do streams for charities that aren't quite as as well promoted as child's play gets to be because everybody does child's play but just being able to do these different charities and I gotta find a way out of here <laughs> and just being able to help out kids who have maybe maybe one month I'll do St. Jude's and another month I'll do a way to help out a different kind of sick kid, um, ki different kind of kids who are sick, or other kids who maybe maybe they're not sick, maybe they're in like a an inner city area and they just don't have the resources to do you know to get out and do things and have a good life because they can't afford you know whatever the whatever the cost would be to do that so maybe I'll do something like that uh, I have thought about this a lot I've really thought about how deep am I oh god really deep um, but I have thought about that a lot lately okay there we go and I just feel like that would be perhaps the most uh, most awesome, I guess you could say, way to to do something that would be beneficial for the most amount of people is just to kind of kind of make sure that if I am streaming, I'm I'm raising money for them 
you know, and helping them out and whatnot. Because I don't really need too much money. I have I have various. Oh my goodness! Whoa, I was careful. Um, I have various things that I could uh, I could spend the money on, but you know, buying a second monitor and a capture device for playing console games and expanding my musical library kind of I think it kind of takes a, a back seat to helping out kids I don't know maybe maybe you guys can debate that in the comments I'll let you guys handle that but I'm gonna go drop this stuff off I think I've got enough stuff where I want to get out of here because the creepers are coming at night so I'm just gonna say thanks for watching everybody I hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed the, the quick little talk um so you will see me streaming sometime in the future. I'll let you know more about that um, as I have information on it. But I will be streaming again sometime in the future, and I'll probably try to be raising money for various charities and other charitable groups. And if you are if you're part of a, a live stream and you might be interested in having me around, especially if it's Minecraft related, if if you're doing anything Minecraft related that has to do with charity. Do give me a buzz um, in the comments or my email or Twitter or really anywhere you can find me. Just let me know and I'll I'll see what my schedule will allow um, and I'll try to I'll try to help out as best I can. So as always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time here on the Finnish Beef Fan Server.